Hey guys and welcome back to another UK random video and today I have a cool Funko Pop to show you guys. Now this is one that I remember when it first came out everyone went a bit mad over it. Um, I'm not a massive collector of Marvel although my past videos will probably tell a different story. Um, I have recently got rid of quite a few but this is one that Everywhere I went, I seemed to keep seeing it. Um, it was 30 or 35 pounds when it came out. Um, I saw it before Christmas for about 20 quid somewhere, and I was like, oh, should I? Nah, I don't really want it that badly. And I remember just after Christmas, we were in Forbidden Planet, and it was 15 quid, and I was like, mm, nah, not for me. And then, who was that? In the Poundland, Poundland of all places, I saw this Funko Pop and it was £10. £10 is a no-brainer. I'm sorry, I don't care who you are. A £10 Funko Pop, well, a normal Funko Pop for £10 is a good price. This is a 10-inch Funko Pop and you know what? I'm glad I bloody got it. It is... Ugh, the 10 inch Galactus with the silver surfer and it is the black light version and the box was in wicked condition as well which I was very very surprised about there you go Ugh. and you know what for 10 quid you cannot go wrong with any Funko Pop I'm sorry <sighs> Unless it's from Fortnite. It's such a mean looking pop as well. I'm going to get these out of the box and show you. Wow, I just can't. You know what? Every time I look at it, I notice more and more details. And you know what? It is bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant. The colours are really cool. Obviously, it's black light, so it's totally not the colors that these guys would usually be but under a black light it, they they look awesome now i'm gonna get this out of the box actually can you see the backing card on this it's hard to tell Ugh. now this is a first i've never seen that before that on top of the Funko. Interesting. Did Funko package it like that? Who could have been those? Right. So let's take that off. Yeah, let's have a look at the backing card actually. Let's see what. Okay, now it's just a plain black backing card. Maybe all the black clock ones are like that. I don't know. <clears throat> In fact, I did have um, the first load of um, Avengers in black light, but I like quite a lot of my other Marvel pops. I did get rid of them. I'm kind of kicking myself now. Oh, well, that is a big pop. Oh, I'm very blooming heavy. So, yeah, his helmet is all pink really bright and his outfit is pink blue and black and it looks so cool he doesn't look very happy does he because his price went down in it <laughs> yeah now that that is a really cool and heavy funko pop but not only that you have oh the silver surfer obviously on the surfboard in the black light colors too there you go blue yellow and orange it's blooming tiny same size as like uh, one of them pocket pops um but yeah for 10 pounds this is an absolute banging bargain um i have picked up some really cool oversized funko pops recently especially from geek garage um I've got another one to unbox for you, but I've had the Star Wars Ben Kenobi pop ride from there. 
that cost me a tenner. Um, what other one did I get from there? There was another one as well. Ah, yes, that one's still to come. I've not unboxed that. And that's one, that's another Marvel Funko, which, you know what, I might video it after this, if I can find it in all these boxes. But yeah, guys, what do you think of that? That is really, really cool. And I love the way they've done it. Obviously, Galactus, huge character, and they've scaled the Silver Surfer right down. That is really cool. So, guys, what do you think of my bargain this week? I know it's a good bargain. Did anyone else manage to pick it up? I did see it somewhere else, actually, after I'd bought it from uh, Poundland. Um, where was it? Uh, where did I see it? Was it b and no, it wasn't B&M. Somewhere else. I, I was out and about, and I saw it again for a tenner. Maybe it was B&M. Yeah, a 10-inch Funko Pop. I mean, the first 10-inch Funko Pop I ever bought was the Llama from Fortnite. And I got that from B&M. And that was something like 16, 17 quid. And that was a steal. Um, not that I'm a Fortnite fan. I don't, never played it. Doesn't interest me. But to get a 10-inch Funko Pop for that price is wicked. To get it for a tenner, that's something else. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, bloody brilliant. I'm very happy with that. Guys, if you have enjoyed this short and sweet video, give us a like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification. But we're going to see you soon for another video. Peace. Now let's try and get this back in the box.